Bible says, and all Israel knew that God had established Samuel as a prophet. For God did not allow one word to fall down on the ground. For God was with Samuel. Ladies and gentlemen, when you pay the price of your call, you will begin to see the glory of your call. When you pay the price of your call, you will begin to see the power of your call. There's a power that God has invested in you. You are not You want God to use you. Have you paid the price? Have you paid the price? The price of your call. Until you understand the price that has been as a demand connected, attached to your call. You will never be blessed. You will never be effective. There are a lot of people. You, you know you say yes, God has called you. You are, your God has called you, yes. But you are not effective. The reason why you are not effective, you are not consistent. You are not paying the price. You have not paid the price. There is a price. The Bible says the sacrifice of the Lord is a broken spirit. Child of God, there are times in life because of the call that God has placed upon your head. You will go to challenges in life. You will go to rejection in life. You will go to persecution in life. It's a price based on the measure of the call that is upon your life. You don't have a ministry if you don't understand what you have been called. You don't have a ministry. Your ministry becomes effective if you understand the measure of the price that you need to pay. Ministry, ministry is one of the access to fulfill destiny. If you honor ministry, this is not ministry. Being on a pulpit is not ministry. Your ministry is out there. I went somewhere, somebody told me, he says, Are you a pastor? I asked, I said, Why? He said, There is something about you that I cannot tell. He said, you look like my spirit is telling me that you are a pastor. That is ministry. Your ministry is a virtue. And until you pay the